far as that game is UTX Untamed Rush. And that opening clip was hilarious, man. I couldn't stop laughing. You know, I was I was I'm la I was laughing because the whole time I'm knifing these guys and no none of them are turning around. So, you know, it showed you that there's a lot of people that aren't talking. I haven't played the game lately because of MW3, so I'll see if maybe some of that changes. Um I'm hoping so. But it was funny and that last guy I just shot him because I didn't want him to turn around, you know, the knifing mechanics in this game is great. You know, so if they, they, I was scared that he was just gonna turn around and face me, and then I wouldn't have gotten the knife, and it would have been a waste of a, uh, of a good thing, you know. So, um, basically, watch how, watch when I die here before I start talking. Get the flashlight off my face, and I shouldn't have fought this guy, but I want to talk about the recon class, and now I want to talk about something else. But you know, the recon class is great. Um, it's great because I, I like it because I can run SMGs with it now. And it's, it's good, it helps out the team. I don't run it all the time, but I do in like objective game modes because I notice that a lot of people are prone to playing support and assault and recon. Um, so this class here, uh, usually when people run it, they're using a the sniper rifle. And I don't like doing, I don't, I, I don't snipe, I'm not that good at it. Um, and it, I just don't feel like I'm in the fight. So I just don't like to snipe with it, so I'm glad that they put SMGs to it because now I can use the class and it helps my team out and it helps me be a stronger player when it comes to objectives. I don't feel like, you know, I don't feel like I, I need a teammate to watch my back when I got the motion sensor. Um, I don't run it. I don't run the motion sensor on every map. On, on maps with vehicles, I like to try to run the Soflam because it helps lock on to vehicles and, it, it, you know, if you got guys with engineers, um, it works great. Especially if they have a javelin, because the javelin, it, it, the javelin is a lot more effective with the soul flam. It was, it was meant. Those two were meant to go together. Uh, when you have the soul flam, and I love that mechanic right there. When you have the soul flam and the javelin, the javelin react. You know, it acts like the javelin in Modern Warfare 2 and 3, uh, where it goes straight up into the sky and then it comes down on the target. That's how it acts. But when you don't have it, it it's like it's not guided. So it's it basically just goes straight. It'll come out the rocket and then just shoot straight. And that's not how it's meant to act. It's meant to come down, up, and down on the target to catch it in a more vulnerable point. I mean, realistically, that's what it's supposed to do uh, it's for tanks. Because it was basically made for anti-tanks. But I'm not a gun expert, so I won't even bore you guys with that. Um, but that that's great. And I, I, I love that you don't have to use a shotgun no more with the recon class. In Bad Company 2, it was either you use a shotgun or a sniper rifle. And... I, I'd rather use an SMG. <laughs> so I got that now and I'm happy about that. And you know, the motion sensor, this is a great spot for it on Rush and on, on Conquest. Because you basically just see how everybody just popping up on the mini map. So it works out great. Um But we kept on fighting and we kept on getting stuck fighting for this the B flag. And it was just like uh it was annoying. Because we weren't making no progression. They were getting up on us on tickets. If you look at the score right now, it's just, I, I can't even tell the number. It's 285 to 190, I think. And we're just getting crushed. And I'm just like, damn. I'm like, we got to do something. Something got to give, you know. We keep, we keep getting up there and we get the flag, but then we lose it and then we're just dying. Which is giving them more tickets because you lose tickets um, by the amount of flag. Look at these guys. They don't even see me. They're all concentrated on that one staircase. And, um... You know, we just keep, you lose tickets to the amount of flags you have. I mean, you don't have. Like, if the other team has two, you're losing more tickets. It's, it's, it's like domination. But then also, when you get deaths, those take down your tickets, too. So, right here, I put down my, my sensor. And I throw a nade to that corner. Just basically as suppression, and I'm out. And one guy does spot me. He does see me. But I had squad sprint. I guess he didn't. So, I was gone. You know, I had sprint equipped. So, I was gone. And I basically just had the mentality of, um... You know, divide and conquer at this point. Like, I wanted to get these guys' attention away from the stairs at B. And it worked out. Uh, you know, it worked out to my advantage. Uh, you're going to see right here, if, if you ever play Conquest and you wonder why the meter stops. You know, right here you see the meter stop. It's basically because there's an even amount of players on the flag. And then you're going to see it start again, but it's them capturing it back. And that's because now there's, I think, two players on the flag. There's more. So once they get more, whatever team gets more players on that flag, they'll start taking the flag from the other team. So right here, they start capturing the flag back, but then it stops. I guess one of the players went back in. 
And this guy's looking for me. He don't know where I'm at. And it's hilarious because watch. You see him like get scared. Like <laughs> so my team my team swans on me and we end up getting the flag and everything. And um I wanted to talk about uh the spawn trap. Uh spawn trap, uh check the gate. He was talking about this map and how it's poorly designed and it's uh not balanced and I feel like it's not balanced when it comes down to PC and if you're on a 32 man server. Uh, is that right? I don't know if that number's right. But you know, basically the, I think it's 16 on 16 on PC. So it's it's a lot harder. You got it's easier to watch these staircases. Where on console it's a 12 on 12, so it's a four, four it's a three squads of four and there's three staircases. So you could make the push. As you see, we constantly get the we were constantly getting the push. But we would constantly get pushed back down, you know, because the way they spawn, they got a better line of sight on the objective than we do. But uh, eventually we just end up splitting them up. And, you know, I think that, you know, he was talking about the higher ground always wins. And he was right. But the fact is that it's all about the number of players on the, on the map. You know, I feel like uh, DICE and the people at EA, you know, whoever, I, I believe it's DICE that develops the battlefield. And, um basically they um they didn't think they didn't think i feel like this is where the game was rushed a little bit like they didn't really think what maps certain game modes should be on and how the map should be laid out to a particular amount of players on that game mode you know what i'm saying like on pc they really should have thought more carefully of, of this map and how it would play out on a full server on a full player server i'll tell you get that mayweather two pace but um <laughs> You know, this map should have easily had five to six flags on it. Easily. It shouldn't have been, should not be a, a three flag map with that amount of players and with that section there. Because it, it, you're clearly at a disadvantage if you're on the team that has to come up the, the stairs. So, you know, he had a point, but it's just, I feel like they should have thought more carefully on the map layout. That's basically it. You know, I, I feel like they should have planned it out better and worked a little bit harder on, on, uh, how they did the map layout and um this right here you're gonna see me real quick switch switch off my kit and that's something that you could do if you, if you didn't know you can switch off your kit you see me drop down an ammo pack i don't know how this guy didn't die but i dropped the ammo pack down then i picked my kit back up now i could resupply everything again so that's something that like say uh say you run an engineer you need more rockets and you just killed the guy with an LMG or your, one of your teammates just died with an LMG, you know, running the support class. Pick up his kit, drop an ammo pack, then switch your kit back. You don't have to kill yourself, you know, because, you know, you don't you don't have the thing. You could always just pick somebody else's up and switch your, your, your kit. Now, I love that about this game. Um, they just have so much in the game that, that I'm just basically going to say this is like, to me, this, this should be the game of the year. Um... I've unlocked all my weapons in co-op and I still have so much to unlock in in the multiplayer I, I I've, I've basically been playing with all the, the co-op guns and I haven't touched any of the multiplayer guns there's so much variety and I feel like every equipment has a purpose in this game yeah they could get abused but I just feel like everything has a purpose it, it's just such an all-around balance to this game the maps are great uh, one thing that's probably gonna hold this game back it's just the conquest mode and how they did the layout of the maps and even I think some of the rush maps uh, no nah, maybe not I mean some of the rush maps are just a little ridiculous and but it's a challenge so it's not that bad but um yeah I just I, I think this is like game of the year and I, I just basically think that if they could put it out through a patch they should change what maps uh, what maps you play to uh, certain game modes or the amount of players to a map well that that more that more goes to pc because i feel like you could 12 on 12 every map in this game on the console it's just they need to do a little bit better on the map layout and uh what they do so um so next time i'm out peace and you'll see a better rotation of battlefield and mw3 on my channel coming in a week or so i'm out